everyone. I promised you a video blog um, about the latest book that I've read, and so here's my first one. I wanted to talk to you about Sonali Dave's A Change of Heart. Before that, of course, as always, a quick catch up on life. My parents and my brother a few weeks ago came to Nashville to spend a few days with me, which was wonderful. We went to the temple, which is just a thing our family does in every city on the planet, and um, got to get some good Indian food and hung out and watched some movies, and it was just a wonderful time all around. My friend Camila, who I haven't seen since Christmas Eve, um, drove up from Houston on his way back to Pittsburgh, where he lives, and he made a stop in Nashville to see me, and we got to hang out for the night, and we ended up staying really late and eating dinner, and, um, waking up early as the sun came up and drinking coffee out on my patio, which was a lot of fun. And it was a really great start way to start the work week last week. And then this past weekend, I actually flew home to Pennsylvania for one of my best friend's weddings. I caught the bouquet. I tried to pawn it off on the girl next to me, but it didn't work. So my mom is really thrilled and we'll see what happens. Um, overall, it was just a really wonderful weekend. And then I got to come back and on the flight, I had this amazing moment where I kept thinking, I'm really excited to go home. And using the word home when it comes to Nashville after only being six weeks and going at it alone a lot of the time was a really big, fun step for me just because it's really nice to feel like this place is home and I've kind of created a little bit of my own place here and found my own niche. And I've made a lot of friends and I actually sat um, with the president and vice president of the Penn State Alumni Association for Middle Tennessee on... Um, my flight back so and on the way there actually so it was really fun to get the chance to talk to people who, who are so willing to make the time and the effort and um, make you feel at home in a new place so it was really nice to come back to all of that and I still feel sometimes like I'm on a little bit of a paid vacation in a really nice place so it's been really good life is really great so Back to A Change of Heart, which is going to be the first book in my vlog series uh, doing book reviews. It is actually coming out in October. So the copy that I got was from the RT Book Lovers Convention. So not only they've um, handed out ARCs at her table for the Kensington signing. And of course, I had to make a beeline for it. I think it was one of the four books I brought home <laughs> because I was so excited to read it. I got the sample chapters at one of her speaking events and Amanda Hager, who was my roommate, um, or one of my roommates, saw me reading it and 20 minutes later she goes, that must be a really good book because you haven't looked up yet. And I startled because I was just so wrapped up with the story that I had completely forgotten that I was in a hotel room in Las Vegas and not in Chicago or on a cruise ship or any of the various locations that the story takes place on so or at. So I ended up getting this copy of this book and reading it on the flight from Pennsylvania to Detroit. And anyone that knows me knows that I get really bothered if you interrupt me while I'm reading. And so I was really, really annoyed that the flight had to land an hour and a half in um, because I hadn't finished the book yet. I was only around page 130. Um, so I hauled my 40 pound carry on bag over to the other side of the airport, plopped myself down and read for another three hours and didn't get back up. And this story is just absolutely amazing. So Sonali has written three books so far, A Bollywood Affair, A Bollywood Bride, and A Change of Heart. So each of the characters sort of recurs throughout each of the stories as a series should do. And um, the characters, Nick, Hale, Jen, and Jess, from um, A Change of Heart, are introduced in the previous book, uh, A Bollywood Bride, and you get a little bit attached in that story and you remember certain details because Sonali is just such an amazing writer that she creates this really wonderful um, world and um, these characters and these settings really beautifully. So you get to meet these characters and then you find out what happens to them in A Change of Heart, and some of it is really not good and your heart just sort of breaks along with these characters and some of it is incredible and so the story follows Nikhil after a lot of tragedy and a lot of you know just just sadness and heartbreak that he's had to go through in his life over the last couple of years and he meets Jess who has a very pertinent heart transplant scar on her chest and 
he um, and together they're kind of looking for a secret that Jen has figured out about an illegal organ trafficking um, ring in Mumbai. So the story goes back and forth between different locations and you get different voices a little bit. It's all, um, it's told mostly, you know, kind of third person, but alternating a little bit between Nikhil and Jess. And um, you still get so much from Jen and um, all these other characters that you've grown so attached to from book two. And you got to meet them again, which was wonderful. It's like meeting old friends. Sonali has an incredible writing style. So if you haven't read her work, she is very vivid. Um, Her descriptions are very flowy, very lyrical, very beautiful, and you really, really see everything that she's talking about right in front of your eyes, and she, and which is the mark of a good writer, and she just does it flawlessly. And then the other thing that she does that just blows my mind is how naturally she builds these relationships. In 300, 350 pages, you go from wondering how these characters could possibly even forge a relationship or go forward with all of the things that they've been through to rooting for them halfway through to falling in love with them to just going on this roller coaster of a ride with these characters and I loved what she did with Nikhil and Josh she took such a painful heartbreaking situation and did it with such tact and um, for both of them both of their situations and then she wrote about them so beautifully that you grew super attached to them I keep I actually sent her a message right after I read it and just told her what an amazing writer she is and the other thing I told her is that I'll probably be single forever because there's not a a Samir from Bollywood Affair or a Vikram from Bollywood Bride or a Nikhil from A Change of Heart in my life and that is just the biggest loss for me because she writes these characters yours are just so flawed and so realistic and everyone knows I don't like perfection um I look for people who are a little bit flawed all the time in friendships and in relationships. And so Nikhil and Jess are both exactly like that. And you just feel like they're friends immediately. And you wonder, you want to know more and you wonder what their secrets are and what their quirks are. And and she delivers. And only they delivers. Every single page of the story had me turning and wanting more. And I closed the book and then I wanted even more of it. So I'm very excited for what she has in store next. Um, the story itself has a lot of culture but the thing is is that it's not with the rearranged life for example um when i wrote it the culture plays into it you know it's a very central thing to my book whereas sonali writes in many ways better um because it's just a you know, it's just a part of the story it's just these characters who happen to be indian who are surviving life and i think that that's always the way that you should you should do it um You know, not that I'm putting down my work by any means, but she's just an amazing writer. I would recommend her to anyone. She's one of my favorites. I like to think I played it really cool when I met her um, twice, once at RWA and once at RT. But I'm pretty sure that Amanda Hager and Meredith Date and Jamie Howard and all my writer friends would say I was a total schmuck because I got starstruck and um, did not play it as cool as I think I like to think I did. Um, so yeah, Sonali is graceful and elegant and her writing is exactly the same. So definitely read it. It comes out in October. If I could give it stars, I'd probably give it six out of five because it was really that damn good. Um, my next book for my book review series is going to be Emily Giffen's, uh, newest book. It just came out today, actually. And, um, it's called First Comes Love and I pre-ordered it, so it should be coming soon. And I'm really excited. She is one of my favorite writers of all time. I got introduced to her books in college, I think, and um, I've read every single one of them, and I buy most of them, usually on release days. So super pumped. I'm getting a signed version from Barnes & Noble, and then when she comes next month, maybe I'll do a giveaway of uh, a copy if I get one there. So I am hoping to get that done next week. I'm also in the middle of Jenny Han's book, um, To All the Boys I've Loved Before, And I will, next month, when the second one drops, I will hopefully review that as well. So getting back to reading slowly, if only for the responsibility of promising this and following through on it. And I just, I'm so glad I'm finally making time to read again. Um, It feels really, really good on the soul. And it's really nice to get a break from life and live vicariously through another character for a little while, um, through all the craziness. So... Yeah, I I will see you guys next week. If you have any thoughts on Sonali's last couple works or if you guys want to talk about it, feel free. Just shoot me a message, Annika at AnnikaSharma.com. Can't wait to hear from you.